This day wouldn't be complete without talking about sports. They say sports without heroes is like religion without God. And they're right. Be it Muhammad Ali in boxing or Ayrton Senna in Formula One racing, the world needs its sporting heroes. For many, India's hockey wizard is one such legend. I'm talking about Dhyan Chand, one of the greatest field hockey players in a country where cricket is practically a religion. Dhyan Chand had Indians watching his silky stick work with bated breath. Trust me, this is rare. With three successive Olympic gold medals, Dhyan Chand symbolized the aspirations of a newly independent India. And now his birthday is celebrated across the country as National Sports Day on August 29th. This year it feels extra special. As the world is lauding India's recent sporting achievements, on Sunday, javelin sensation Neeraj Chopra won a gold medal at the World Athletics Championships. Last week, chess prodigy R. Pragnananda created history at the World Cup. He won a silver. H.S. Pranoy defeated world number one at the Badminton World Championships. He won a bronze. So we have a medal trifecta for India in a matter of weeks. These are extraordinary achievements. But they also make us stop and wonder, why are such achievements so rare? India has seen a gradual shift in the sports ecosystem. It has been positive with success in wide-ranging sporting events, like the 2020 Tokyo Olympics and the recent ICC Women's Cricket World Cup. New aspirants are, shift, are shining rather in weightlifting, boxing and wrestling. There is a new crop of brilliant young chess players too. New leagues are being formed. There's one for arm wrestling even. Government initiatives like Kalo India and Fit India have given sports a push. Many youngsters have a new platform now, but the progress is very slow. In the 1996 Olympics, Leander Pace won a bronze medal. He became the first Indian to win an Olympic medal in tennis. But today, no Indian stands in the top 100 rankings of men's singles tennis. What about Olympic goals? In 2008, Abhinav Bindra won it in shooting. He scripted history. He became the first Indian to win an individual Olympic gold. Then for a decade, India saw none. In 2020, Neera Chopra won an Olympic gold in javelin. At this rate, it will take decades before India becomes a sporting nation. Today, countries like the US, Russia and China dominate sports. The US has won the highest number of Olympic medals, more than 2,600. Followed by the Soviet Union's over 1,000 medals. Then come the UK and Germany with more than 900 medals. And how many medals does India have? Only 35. And don't get me wrong, India is extremely proud of its wins, its 35 medals. But we can't ignore the fact that in a country of 1.4 billion people, we have managed only a handful of star athletes. Why is that? India is proud of its sporting icons and medals. But this pride tends to set in only after someone makes it big. Where is this pride when children go out to play? How many are encouraged to pursue sports? More often than not, sports is viewed as a distraction. Tonight, we want to make a case against this. Here's why you should encourage your child to take up a sport. It does wonders for character building. It benefits both the body and the mind. In fact, juggling both sports and studies benefits performance in both. It keeps a student motivated, stimulates her intellectually and relieves stress. Sport also teaches you how to deal with setbacks. It shows you that cuts and bruises are part of the game just as they are a part of life. Sport teaches teamwork and builds mental fitness. It is also a great tool for unifying people. It can make people come together in great numbers. It fosters enjoyment. Sports offers formative and lifelong lessons. Athletes tend to have more self-confidence and self-respect. They show more leadership skills. Studies have shown all of this. They say people who played in high school tend to get better jobs and better pay. Whichever way you look at it, prioritizing sport is a winning strategy. Yet, it sees a large number of dropouts, especially among girls. According to a survey, 43% of girls who once considered themselves sporty disengaged from sport at secondary school age the world over. 43%. There are obvious barriers like the lack of resources. People don't have the time, the money or the facilities to continue playing sports. In other cases, they're discouraged from going out to play. On this National Sports Day, let's agree that this mentality needs to change. Playing sports is important. I'm not saying everyone has to strive to become a professional athlete. I'm saying every little bit helps. So we need to rewire ourselves, look at sports in a different light. It's time to go out and play 
like it's serious business.